trenches, in the trenches, uh, you, you, you're on sentry duty, you're, you're, you're up on the parapet. And you know, when you're looking at the parapet, you, you see a shadow coming past your face. And and, uh, and, and do you know what that was? <laughs> and damn big man eater, a rat. <laughs> and they were awful things. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, and then they run, run around the trenches, up on top of the parapet and everything else, you know. It scares you stiff. It no matter how many times you tell it, it always, always comes back at you. Yeah, and then, and then, Bomb carrier, all bombs around his waist there. Uh, the, the, I, I didn't see the bomb, but I knew what he was. And uh, oh, not long after I was I was in the trenches there, uh, you know, looking around, and I thought myself, well, that's the bomb carrier, all right? These bombs, they all connect up, you see, go around his waist. And then, uh, and then they, uh, just what it was, it may have, it may have been, a, been a bit of bullet that hit one of these bombs, you see. And of course, that, uh, that explodes the other. Uh, and he's all blown to pieces from the stomach, right up. He, uh, all, 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 all his innards in that was all, was, was all out, uh, and, and, he, and he's kind of half laid on, on this parapet, you know. And, well, well, I suppose that, that was the only place they could put him, so as so to be out the way. We was in the trenches and we'd never met the Germans. And uh, all at once, uh, we was looking through a big hedge and we seen hundreds of Germans coming along from our left. And uh, there was a farmhouse there. They were going in at the side door to the farmhouse and through the farmhouse and out the other door. We, well... Our fellas in our trench, they uh, they went over the top and they went right in this farm house and they killed every yule and was in there. They were fighting them on the stairs and down the board and everything and they, they took that farm house. I must tell you a little story about a French traitor. I was down in charge of the ammunition line and across the main road from our dump there was an old boy there used to be smashing stones, the stones you throw on the road when there's the traffic to go over. And I noticed about a couple of fields away from where he was knocking with these stones down, there was a clock on an old church. The clock wasn't going, but now and again, somebody used to move the handles on that clock. I reported um, to my CO, that's my commanding officer, and he, in turn, handed him over to the French. And he was tried by the French for being a spy. Well, there's only one, one thing left as far as the spy being concerned. They're shot at dawn. And he was shot at dawn. And, uh, well, you see, um, the, the idea of him moving the hands on the clock was to si signal to the, uh, the German observation officer when, uh, let's say, quarter to 11, the ammunition would be going round that certain corner. It was in Yeeps, as a matter of fact, Y-P-R-E-S, -Y Yeeps, you see. We used to call it Wipers, the trops, you see. And the uh, result is the German artillery would then open fire on this crossroad at that time that he'd altered the clock to, you see. Result is heavy casualties 
and, and so on, you see. Well, that's the sort of thing that used to go on all the time. There was, I mean, the French were very hot on spies. Well, so with the British, you come to that. And, um, well, on the 28th of July, I was wounded on the, in the Battle of the Marne and was moved down to Lyal for an ambulance to go to Britain. And we left Lyal around midnight, I believe it would be. Well, the ship's orders came round to see what we wanted to drink or eat. So I said, well, what about a nice steak? Oh, he said, you'll get steak. He said, we'll be a mistake if we do get any. And about an hour later, we were torpedoed by a submarine, German submarine, and the ship went down in about 25 minutes with uh, about 187 people wounded and nurses. And I, was, I, I was rescued by one of the naval patrol and landed in uh, Portsmouth and put in hospital at uh, in Hampshire. You really the bullets come whizzing by and over your head and you wonder where, it's, where, where they're all coming from. But, they, but there's three different armies in front. See, eh, eh, that, uh, there, there was the, uh, the British army, there was a the French army, and there's the Unions. And, and, the, and, all, and, and the place was just as like hell. He didn't know where, where to put yourself, what to do, or had it been, or, or but it, it was awful. Yeah, oh yeah, night attacks. Night attacks. Yeah, yeah. The idea you've got to get over there without making any noise, and, and you've got to grab them when you wait. You know, when you get near one, grab him and pull him over, and hand, hand him to the ones at the back, and, and then they cut him all further still. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what they call night attacks. They're awful things too. If you never never know what, uh, what's coming to you, or what's going to happen to you. Uh, 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 it, 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 it was a pretty full sight to see a lot of these horses coming back. Uh, legs uh, uh, wounded and the wounded the stomach and the, and his all his innards all uh. yeah I, I was uh, I was in two or three battles where where they had the cavalry in first you know cleared the way for us to go through. Seen, seen them where there's been three and four right after each other, they go from one to another, and it, up underneath the other one. And it, yeah, yeah, and, and they are what they call dog fights, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, gas, 
you, you know, and it was a long while before I, I realised what it really was. Whilst I was in hospital in Hampshire, up to November, when the Hampshire was signed, any patient, any veterans that could walk was sent off on leave, indefinite leave. I proceeded to York on leave, and we had a real good time of it. That was on the same day as Armistice was signed, November the 11th. And I was recalled back to the hospital in January, so I had a very good holiday. Oh, there was lots of drinking. In the market square, we was giving the policemen all the drink they wanted, and we was having plenty. Dancing. Little song I played. Everybody knows it, though. 